We are about to unveil the most expensive cities in Utah where the wealthy live. Think you know Utah? Think again. In Utah, we have three cities officially that have hit the point where the median sales price of the city is over a million dollars. Those three cities are Park City, which is in Summit County, Alpine, which is in Utah County, and Sundance, which is also in Utah County. And the main reason for that is with Alpine and Sundance, they don't really have condos or townhomes. It's just mainly family estates. Now, Park City has been over a million for a while, so we're we're talking entry level condos, townhomes, single family homes, everything in Park City is gonna be over a million dollars. And if you wait till the end of the video, I'm actually gonna share with you where some of the local Instagram influencers actually live. Let's talk about the actual counties and where the expensive cities are in each county. Now, not every city is over a million dollars, but let's start with Davis County. Davis County is just above Salt Lake County and the most expensive areas in Davis County are going to be Bountiful, Layton, Kaysville, and Farmington. And I was actually a little surprised Price to have Layton on the board because Layton is not one that the broad city has the massive appeal. It's just neighborhood by neighborhood. So to see Layton as one of the more expensive cities in Davis County was kind of cool to see. So when you're shopping in that area, you can't just say, I want to be in these cities because it's a block by block situation. So now let's talk about Salt Lake County. When it comes to Salt Lake County, the most expensive cities are Salt Lake City, Draper, Sandy, and Holiday. And again, with these ones, it's an area by area. So Draper is up on the bench. So the homes up on the bench are going to be more expensive than the ones closer to the freeway. Now, Sandy is a very interesting city because Sandy touches I-15 and goes all the way to the mountain and you have multi-million dollar homes on the furthest east section of Sandy. So we're talking about the Pepperwood neighborhood. It is beautiful, great family mansion estate, but you can't say I want to be in Sandy because there's a very vast value difference the further east you go in Sandy. Holiday is probably one of my favorite cities and fun random fact, my dad grew up in Holiday and I learned how to spell Holiday by Holiday not how it's actually spelled. So for the longest time, I could not spell holidays correctly because I thought it was spelled like holiday. Random side note. But Holiday is known for its massive estates and its beautiful homes. It does have affordable housing in Holiday. You can get a condo for 300,000, but it's going to be a very small little condo. But Holiday is beautiful and it has fantastic homes. And with Salt Lake, it's very much dependent on where we're talking because Salt Lake City in Salt Lake County is very broad and has probably the lowest price home and the most expensive price home in Salt Lake County. So shopping, we're talking about the east side of east of State Street in Salt Lake and north of I-80 or Olympus Cove, which is east of 215 also has multi-million dollar homes. So when it comes to Salt Lake, it is very interesting because it's pretty vast difference in values in Salt Lake. If you're talking more expensive homes, we are talking about the east side of 1300 South, north of I-80 and on the east side of 215 is where you're gonna find the most expensive homes in Salt Lake City. Now let's talk about Utah County. When it comes to Utah County, we have four cities. We have Alpine, Mapleton, Provo, and Sundance. Alpine and Sundance are both on that median sales price over a million dollars. And when it comes to Provo, it is also going to be similar to Sandy where you have a very vast difference of homes. The closer you are to I-15, the more affordable. And with Provo, if you are over on the bench, uh, those homes are closer to a million or above. You have multi-million dollar homes in Provo that are closer to the BYU area. So if you're thinking about higher end homes in Utah County and in Provo, that's the area you're going to want to be. And the last county we're going to talk about is Summit County and that is where Park City is. And Park City has the most multi-million dollar homes in the state, but also is over a million. And honorable mention that I want to mention is Camas, Utah, which is super close to Park City. And I'll tell you why I'm mentioning it in a second. Now let's talk about expensive homes in Utah. So this is for my data nerds. It's one of my favorite ones to look up. The home on the market with the most square footage currently has over 50,000 square feet and it is currently for sale for $17 million. My friend used to work for the builder who helped build it at the time and they spent between 10 and $15 million building the home and that's not counting the land. Now the most expensive home sold in Utah, which was in 2022, still is the most expensive home sold in Utah, is the Rockstar Mansion and it sold for $39 million and that was located in Park City. The reason it's called the Rockstar Mansion is the owner of Rockstar actually bought the mansion for the $39 million. And the most expensive price per square foot home currently listed on the market is $3,055 a square foot. And that is a 10,000 square foot mansion in Park City. So you made it to the end. Let's talk about where your favorite influencers live. So I mentioned Alpine. Alpine is in Utah County and it currently is home to Rachel Parcell. Rachel Parcell is a brand influencer. She started back in 2010 with a blog and she's evolved her brand. She has her own dress line at Nordstrom's. She has her own clothes and she 
is a fashion style icon along with her sisters. People joke in Utah that her family is the Kardashians of Utah. So kind of a fun joke. Also living in Alpine is Shay McGee of McGee & Co. Shay McGee has also built through blogging and now branding and has a big brand at Target called Threshold of Home Decor and Home Style. They also have a masterclass and they did a Netflix series. So kind of cool. They both live in Alpine. So Alpine is kind of where the influencers live in Utah County. If you remember earlier, I mentioned Camus. The reason I mentioned Camus is Camus is where Ballerina Farm lives. Ballerina Farm is a Instagram account that is all about home style, growth farm. They have eight kids. She just competed in the Miss USA pageant. Pretty inspirational person, but they live in Camus, which is just outside of Park City. On their marketing, I think they say that it's Park City, but it's about a good half hour away. But in the grand scheme of it, it is pretty close to Park City, which is our most expensive area. And the last one I want to talk about is in Holiday, which is in Salt Lake County, is where the Fox Group lives. So the Fox Group is an architectural company that builds beautiful homes, does amazing renovations, and they do kind of a French chateau style. So one day I actually found their house and drove by because it's beautiful and it's just as pretty in person as it is online. Another random stat about Utah is currently nationwide, 8% of homes are million dollar or above. And right now in Utah, 20% of homes on the market are over a million dollars. So Utah is turning into a metro of more expensive homes. So if you are thinking about buying a house, I would get in sooner than later to let the market appreciation grow your net worth. If you've made it this far, make sure you like and subscribe for everything Utah and real estate. And if you like videos like this, we can make sure we do more.